So today I'm making zinc coated pennies, which is galvanization, and I'm using sodium hydroxide, which is already in these containers, they're glass, so nothing will happen to them. And here's uh, the, the lye that I used, sodium hydroxide, same thing. And here's some zinc powder, which is just zinc metal in powder form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the zinc metal in, and then I'll put the pennies over here, I'll put them in and then they'll turn silver basically. Um, I'm going to place some zinc into the last one. It's a solution of sodium hydroxide and zinc. Uh, 15 milliliters of sodium hydroxide for every 0.5 grams of zinc. Which honestly it seems like I put in more than that, but whatever. I don't really have a scale, so I'm just going off of density and milliliters. Anyway, I'm going to stir these up a little bit. And we'll turn up the heat in a second. Now, once they start bubbling, I can turn off the heat, and place the pennies inside, or at least uh, put the heat very low. I'm using separate containers because it seemed like when I used a bunch of containers that uh, they, uh, when I used a bunch of containers, or a bunch of pennies in a single container, it seemed like I didn't get as good results, and the pennies were not as pure. Alright, we're back. Everything is bubbling a little bit now. It's not quite there yet. The uh, water under it is boiling. It is, is boiling right now, but uh, the water inside the containers is not yet bubbling. Except for the small one, which I suppose since it's smaller, it boils faster. So I'm going to put my first penny in, or technically my second, because I already put it in one. And it looks like this one has the most action, so I'll put one in here. Alright, that's all there is to it. Penny's right there. Let me try two and see how it goes. This one looks like it's boiling too. Alright, here's my first product. Looks like it went out, turned out pretty well. As you can see, it's, uh, well, maybe you can't see. It's silver. It's a penny. And it's galvanized. I guess the video cut out. Anyway, there you have it. A silver penny. Now, it looks like a little bit of black on here. That's not the zig. That's just because the penny was a little bit corroded when I put it in. You really have to make sure that uh, you get clean pennies, otherwise they won't turn out as shiny as you like. Now the final stage is where you fuse the zinc penny, or the galvanized penny, coated, basically a copper penny coated with zinc, and you fuse the copper with the zinc and you make a brass alloy. All you have to do is heat it up. The key is to heat it some, but not too much. Now you see, it looked, it looks like it all turned brown for a second. But actually, it's turning gold all at once. Um, you can tell, now, there we have our gold penny. And a little bit of brown on it still, but I'll let it pass. It's probably... Uh, incomplete um, zinking or whatever, or galvanization. Anyway, I'm just going to cool it off real quick. And there you have your gold penny. Pretty awesome.